Okay. The meter turns slowly. Nice. So that's the advantage of a grid tie system. Okay. So earlier you have seen how the grid tie system a solar setup has been done physically and what are the components. Now let us discuss and see how it is being wired with the network diagram and later we will check on what are the benefits and why did we choose to go for a grid tie solar setup. So let me just share to you my screen here. So this is a simple grid tie solar setup system. So it's just a simple presentation and it's uh, this is how the way I look at it. So as we see on this diagram, this is how the grid tie system is being built and how it's being wired through this uh, circuit diagram. Okay. So first in the solar system there are two types this is there there is a dc component and the other one is the ac component so uh, photovoltaic cells coming from the sunlight is being uh, wired through this the dc side as we all know solar grid tie system produces a dc power so from the DC power, it's then converted by the grid tie inverter to an AC power, which is what is being used in our houses. Okay. And so this, uh, let me go back a little bit. So uh, we will go on to the setup one by one. So first we have the photovoltaic solar panel cells. So as you can see on the video, those are 275 watts, four of them, and wired in parallel. So in total, they would sum up to more than a thousand watts of uh, uh, power that can produce. Okay. So the next one is the DC breaker. So this one acts as the a cutout fuse between the solar panels, and the next one will be the 1000 watts grid tie inverter okay. so next in the diagram here is the smart plug so the, sp the smart plug functions as a delay a delay timer switch and it also monitors uh, energy current being produced and how much kilowatt is being produced for a certain period okay, so the next one will be the to gang outlet it, it is now on the AC side where power flows from the grid to inverter going through this circuit connection so this one is the AC digital voltmeter so this one measures the converted power current and how much wattage is being produced so after the two gang uh, outlet it goes through the circuit breaker so this is just a 15 amps uh, AC breaker which is then being fed to the main uh, panel board okay so main power board and goes up to the utility here the utility meter So why did we go for a grid tie solar system? First, I've decided for a grid tie uh, utility system, uh, grid tie power system uh, setup because we are on the green field of uh, energy, meaning we are we are on the good grid, shall shall they say on electrical terms. If you are on the good grid or a green field system meaning there are less brownouts in your area so especially in our area we're located here in city of Talisay 
we seldomly get uh, commercial power failures uh, even though commercial power failures are pro uh, dominantly available in other areas but not in our place so meaning in a year as I recall, I could only remember at least one power interruption for the whole year. But then, it would uh, readily resume power in less than 30 minutes. So that's why I, I go for the grid tie solar system setup. Next one, it's more practical and economical. Practical and economical meaning I, I don't need a battery backup system in order to go for a solar. So, uh, by the way, in, in a solar setup, there are three types. So, first is the grid tie system. The second one is the off-grid system. And the third one is the hybrid system. So, one and two are combined to make for a hybrid system. Okay, so we will see. Uh, maybe we will dis discuss that in other, another session as we go along. So, moving back to why did we go for... A grid tie system because it's more practical and economical practical and economical meaning you you only invest a few amount as uh, maybe it's here uh, it's not expensive as compared to the other two types of system so here it's lower cost on investment so for the grid tie solar system since it don't have an a backup battery you will you will really get a get a lower cost in your investment so you can buy only those that are needed for the grid tie system at a lower price because you don't need for a backup battery which in the event rises up if you have one if you have a backup battery system which is either for the off grid or the hybrid system so the next one is easy to install and to maintain. So it's easy to install and to maintain practically because you only have those types of equipment. You only have solar panels, breakers, the inverter itself, and that's it. You just fed it to your system. Okay. So the last thing about is why I go for the grid tie solar is that fast return of investment. So if, if you're going to invest that kind of an amount, if you're going to compute it on your daily basis, you'll have a farther, a faster return of your investment. So in a lesser amount of time, your investment will, will be covered already by your solar system setup. So that's it. So maybe later I will show you the difference and, and what happens if you turn off your grid tie solar system and what happens to your meter if you turn it on again so i will just post that video later so time check it's now 11 30 in the morning almost 12 noon so let's see what happens when we turn off the grid tie inverter see the a kilowatt hour meter plate here runs slowly okay Let's see what happens when the grid tie inverter is turned off see the meter runs as fast as he could see right there it's running like wild really spinning fast focus okay let's turn it on again Oh, 
before turning it on. It's off. It's red. It's turn on the breaker. Let's check the meter again. Okay, the meter turns slowly. Nice. So that's the advantage of a grid tie system. Okay. So as you can see there, when the grid tie is off, the spinning disc of the meter runs really, really fast. But if the grid tie is on, the meter runs slowly because that's what's the purpose of a grid tie system. It acts as a, an additional supply power for your system. So by the way, a grid tie system can also be used for the net metering system of your uh, local power provider. But for my system, I did not uh, go through with that because it's much of a hassle here, especially in our place. So I just have it as it is. So a simple grid tie setup that would help you in your day-to-day uh, -day electrical needs for your house so if you think that this video is help for you then just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends see you in the next one